Hey guys, so does your Spotmatic got you down? The Pentax Spotmatic was a great camera and I really like it because it's an all metal construction. It's got a beautiful metal lever on the top here. It's just a beautiful camera, but it had a flaw. The flaw is sometimes a mirror would get stuck up in the up position and after a shot, leaving you blind for the next shot, even though it would still work, you wouldn't be able to see through the viewfinder because the mirror would be stuck in the up position not giving you access through the lens. So we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna to need a few tools. Screwdriver, a very small cross point screwdriver, some kind of file or sandpaper. A pair of tweezers is nice in case you lose small parts down. A small flathead screwdriver and something with a really sharp point like a sewing needle or something like that. I'm gonna use this really sharp point on this protractor to help me get off of the little C a ring that holds on the arm that we're going to look at today. So let's take a look at this picture that I have here. This little arm, there's an arm on here that you'll see in the picture that it doesn't get completely out of the way in every shot. And that's what causes the mirror to stay stuck even though the shutter is already fired. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this arm out, we're going to grind off a little bit of the corner of it and put it back on and that little little bit of a grind probably like a half a millimeter or less is going to give that arm a little bit more room to clear the uh, the other arm or the, the little bracket so it can get out of the way that has worked on another spotmatic that i've got and i imagine it'll work equally as well on this one so it's, it's a very it's fairly simple and easy fix if you got a little bit of patience and allows your Spotmatic to be usable for many, many more years. First thing that we need to do to solve this is take out the bottom plate. We do that by removing three screws. There's one here, and one on this side, and there's one in the middle right by the tripod socket. And it appears that the one by the tripod socket is a smaller, different size screw, so make sure you get that one back in the right spot when you try to put this back together. spot and the plate just comes off like this and then what we see in here is there's a, this little arm right here and if you notice the mirror right now is stuck and if you notice what happens is when this arm comes back there's a, a gear a little lever right here at the top and this lever gets stuck on this gear we're going to take this lever out and we're going to grind the corner a little bit a little bit more of a 45 degree on the corner and I made a, a mark right here with a marker a black marker so I know not to go past that mark and grind too much off but we're going to grind just a little bit off of this in order to allow that arm to be able to come down no matter what right now every so often it gets stuck there so we're going to we're going to take care of that so if I turn this back and I fire it again. You see it's still, it moved, but the mirror is still stuck because it couldn't get out of the way. So we're going to grind this down and, and make it a little slimmer so it's got more room to clear. Now the mirror's gone. You can see the arm is here. This arm came down here, and then the lever's back here, and it's, you know, it's got some play in it now. But when we wind our, when we wind this, you can see what happens is the arm goes up and it sits on top of this little arm here. The mirror arm goes up and it sits on top of this little arm. And what that does is that is keeping the mirror down like this. And when we fire it, it releases it, which allows the mirror to flip up and back down. So now you can see. You can see what happens here. It's sitting more in the middle of it. So all we're going to do is grind just a little bit off that corner so it has enough to still hold it, but allow it to clear every time. Now it got stuck again because it just caught that, just the corner of that. So we're going to just take the, a little bit off that corner. So like I said, you might be able to get something in here to grind this in place. So I'm going to use the point on this protractor it's a really sharp point here to get down in there and to pop the little spring out 
so I can get this arm off. And I'm gonna, you're gonna hold your hand over this because there's also a washer in here too. So, uh, it's, I know you can't see this, but I got this clip off and you can see it's a really little, little tiny, tiny clip. Now it's on the desk there. So with that clip off, we can very carefully take it apart. I'll take a pair of tweezers and we're gonna very carefully pull this out. There's also a washer, a little washer in there too. So we wanna try to keep, keep that washer intact. So now I have removed the offending piece here, this arm. And I'm not sure if this was a design flaw or just something that happens over the years, but that's definitely what's holding it up. And we're gonna modify this little arm right here by grinding grinding a little bit off this corner. And again, I marked it with a black magic marker um, there so I can make sure I don't go too far because we just need enough to get that hard corner off of this, this edge so that arm can slip past it easy. And for that, I'm, I'm just gonna use a small file here to grind for me. So I'm just gonna take the arm on this small file, we're gonna grind uh, until the, the black mark is gone on the very corner. You don't have to grind, you don't have to grind the entire edge, just the corner. Okay, so we have ground a bit off the corner, again, using this little file here, just a jeweler's file, or you can use any kind of file or sandpaper would work, I'm sure. And I took the arm out. It's a little bit more, takes a little more patience a little bit more trouble, but I, I don't want to grind it here. I mean, I just don't want to do that to my camera because I don't want to get metal dust down inside the camera. So I, I prefer just taking the arm off where I can hold it and control it better and, and keep the dust out of the camera. So now I have it back on. I haven't put the clip back on yet because I want to make sure that it works good. And I'm just going to hold my finger over where the clip goes so the arm doesn't slip back off. And then we're going to we're gonna give it a few fires, and I can see that right away, it needs a little more. So now I'm back, I had taken it off ground a little more, and I've shot a few times here, and it looks really good. I'm just continuing to take some test fires. And you can see now I don't even, I'm not even holding my finger on there, so it's staying in place pretty well anyway, but we're gonna keep doing this before we put that little clip back on, because it is kind of a difficult, Thing, and the most delicate thing of this process is that little clip, but this is looking good right now. It's firing every time, no hiccups, and we'll just go through a round. And what I'm going to do is pop the door to reset the counter, and then run 36 fires through it. And then if that does it, we'll be call it. We'll call it good. We're at about 25 now with no fails. We're going right along. I'm gonna get right on up here to, and we are at 36 with no fails whatsoever. So we are going to put our little clip back on and put all this back together.